everyone, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. Welcome back to another Tuesday educational video. In today's video, I am going to be talking about the pulse oximeter, what a normal level is for a healthy adult, and also how it is being measured and what is being measured. Before we get started, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel as new videos are coming out three times a week. Tuesdays are educationals, Thursdays are NCLEX review videos, and Saturdays can be kind of whatever. So make sure you are subscribed and like this video. All right, so let's get started. First, let's talk about what a pulse ox machine looks like or how it is measured. So typically you place this probe on a patient's finger. Sometimes if the finger is not working, if the patient has acrylic nails, or if they don't have any fingers, you can do an ear lobe. If the ear lobe is not working or you cannot use an ear lobe, you can always do the forehead. Sometimes it can be placed over here or in the middle. You just need to check your packaging to make sure to see where the forehead one needs to be. And then also for infants or even for some adults, if the patient doesn't keep it on, or if, say you can't do anything up here or with their hands, you can always put it on their big toe. Typically for patients who are not doing so well that maybe they're septic or that this patient might be coding, you would want to get a pulse ox in the forehead area because think about those arms, that's where the blood is being taken from first and your heart is not going to pump blood to those areas that wants to keep all the blood in the organs in the middle. So think about that when putting a pulse ox on a patient's limb who is not doing too well. This is the pulse ox that I have here. Typically pulse oxes also check your heart rate too. So you can see here maybe that the top is SpO2, that is your oxygen saturation, and the bottom would be the heart rate. Next, what is this little thing actually measuring? This is measuring how much oxygen is attached to your hemoglobin. So how much is flowing with the hemoglobin through those of what I was taught in nursing school, a normal SpO2 for a patient is anywhere between 90 and 100%. So as a healthy adult, you can be between 90 and 100. For a patient with COPD, on the other hand, depending on where their doctor wants them at, a normal range can typically be between 88 and 100%. And that is it for this video. We went over how to check a pulse ox, where to put the probe, what it's measuring, and what the normal levels are. If you have any further questions, please comment them down below. Other than that, I will see you guys in Thursday's NCLEX review video.